Hey guys, Agent Number 8 here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. Last time, we stood on trial for killing Maester Seymour, and we've been found guilty of slander and being traitors. So, we've been chucked in jail into the Via Perifico, and we've only got Yuna in our party. So, yep, I think it's about time we found our party members. So, yep. It looks like a little labyrinth if you ask me, but oh well. Let's see who we can find here. Uh, let's go up. Oh, I see someone. Oh, I also see a random bar. Three Sargins against Yuna. Right, guys, I think we all know what time it is. Let's make the debut of our new Aeon, Bahamut. The King of Dragons. See, Sargins, you thought you were being clever. Starting on a little summoner like you know, with no guardians to protect it. Well, guess what? Pain is coming your way. I love Bahamut in this game. He is so epic. One of my favourite designs of him, if you ask me. Let's go, Bahamut! Let's kick some ass! Oh my! He just looks so badass with his little arms crossed as if to say, yep. All you guys are puny compared to me. But let's attack the middle one. Die! Come on, Sargans, what have you got for me? 396 damage. Come on, guys. Right. Let's end this with Bahamut's special ability, Impulse. Ooh, and an overkill to go with it. Check out Bahamut, King of Dragons. And we haven't even used his overdrive yet. Oh, when you see his overdrive, guys, he is going to be so badass. Yuna, sorry we left you alone. No, it's okay. It's all right, Kamari. No worries, mate. I need a melee attacker anyway in my party. So, yep, we pick up Kamari and a Mega Potion to go with him. So, we've got two more people to find, Oren and Lulu, because for some reason, they decided to throw all the swimmers into water. No, can't understand the logic there, but oh well. Ooh, I see a flashy light. I also see a random bar. Okay, so Yuna, I want you to cast Null Tide on us, please, because I think they only use water elemental attacks, except for the Sargin sort of uh, physical attack, so... They're all weak to lightning, so if I put on my Thunder Sphere, that will increase the damage. Oh, and of course, they only use physical attacks on us. Well, isn't that grand? Overkill. Aha! Screw you, Flan! And you can't even touch us with your physical attacks either! So, we've not really got much we can do with Yuna at this point. So, just defend. Kamari, take out the other Sargon. For 5,000 damage. And now, we've just got the Flan to deal with. Kamari, can you take out the Flan? Oh, no, it was Yuna's turn. Oh, well. Overkill. Well, it wasn't an overkill, but... The fact that he took out a Flan with his Spear... Or Spear... Says it all. But ooh, who's that then? Oh, it's Oren. Hey, Oren. We've got three party must members. must be an exit somewhere. We search. Yes, you're right. There must be an exit somewhere. And it fancies to be just ahead of us, right there. But we don't want to go there yet. we still got Lulu to find. And we've got some secret treasures to get out of this place as well. So let's follow the path down here. If you look up there, there's a little gate blocking that pathway there. We'll come back to that in a minute. So, but first, we've got to find Lulu. And first, we've got to get rid of these random bars as well. I hate this place. <laughs> or, and of all places in Spira, this is the place he doesn't like. But, uh, I think we need a bit of a cure on Yuna there. Or Cura. Perfect. And Kamari, take up the Madfet. Or the Swamp Madfet, or... Whatever the name of that fiend is. Okay, Oren. Can you kill that battle? No, you can't. Yuna, you defend. And again. Kamari, can you kill the battle? No. 
Okay, fine. We shall do this the hard way. Shoot and star run. Send it into fucking orbit. Perfect. Overkill. That is how it's done. I'm stealing a quote from Aura there, but oh well. Oh, we gained some extra sphere levels as well. We'll put those on later. There's no rush to put them on right now. But yeah, there's nothing down that path there. So let's just carry on going. Straight down for now. Because now we pick up this treasure chest. Which is an elixir. That's awesome. But when you touch this destruction little sphere panel here. Because by touching that destruction panel. We get a random ball. These three sergeants. Okay. Yuna, I want you to cast Null Tide, just in case they do decide to use their Aqua Attack on us. Kimari, you can take out the middle one. Overkill. Ow, stop attacking Oren. Let's give Oren a heal. Ooh, he actually needs a big heal. He's running a bit low there. There we go. Now, is it worth me equipping? Oh, it is actually because he gets another tip. Let's get my lightning strike on. Overkill. Mikamari. Overkill. You can tell the gulfing damage. Kamari's doing 5,000 damage. Bear in mind, he is using a lightning weapon and they are weak to lightning. But still. But yep, for using that thunder or that destruction panel. We get Lulu back. I... It's okay, I know. Don't worry, Uni. It's all good. But for also getting Lulu back, we get a white magic sphere, which, very similar to the black magic sphere, anyone on the grid can unlock any already activated white magic sphere, or white magic ability. So, now that we've got the crew back together, ooh, and we get a flan as well. Perfect. So, Yuna, come out. Get Lulu in there. So, it's a water enemy, so we need to use Thundara on it. Oh, no overkill. We've nearly got the Thundaga and the other Gar abilities anyway, so... Uh, Kimari, attack! Oh, come on now. Cave Iguions. Okay, Yuna. I think we need a Neon to deal with this. Let's bring back the Serpent with Wings! It saved our life in the last couple of episodes. It's time to bring her back. Okay. Get that cave on. You can take him out, Valor 4. Ooh, we're a kill. And get the other one as well. Nothing can beat this Aeon. This Valor 4 is our MVP of Aeons. I want to try and get Yuna as much AP as I can, because obviously she's been out of the party for a while. So I want to try and get as much AP for her as I possibly can. Now, if I go up in the room here, you'll see a nice little teleport sphere there. But we don't want to use that yet. So we'll avoid that. We're going to go into the room up by here. Before we get into another random battle. Okay, Yuna defend. Kimari, take out one of the sergeants. <laughs> 9,500 damage on a critical hit. Kimari is so beast. It is unreal. Lulu, can you take out that last flam for me, please? You'll soon be overpowered as well, Lulu. Don't you worry. You will soon become overpowered. You've got to bide your time and wait. Now, one thing I want to do with Yuna very quickly is I want to move on to a next part of the grid because Sheena can now use the same as Riku. So one more can actually get steel for her as well. So, yep, Yuna can now use items in battle. Well, you know, the, the things you can steal and things. But uh, if we step on this other destruction panel here, this will do some funky things with a little teleporter here. Oh, what's it doing? It can fly! Now, remember that locked room I mentioned before? That little uh, gate block in the way there? Well, now we can get to it. 
So we get this treasure chest first. We get another black magic sphere. Those are going to be very handy soon. So now, if we just go straight on, we're back in the same room that Auron was just now. So now, all we need to do is to get our secret treasures. And there are some pretty good secret treasures to get. Okay, Kimari, I think you'll need to use a Ronso Rage here because you're not going to be able to hit them otherwise. So if you use Seed Cannon on one of the bad days. Overkill. Okay. Oh, we get Colmund. Uh, Luna, I want you to defend for now. I want Auron to defend for now. I want Yuna to come in so we can get some AP for him. Auron, attack. Yeah. See, that's how you manage the party. Get them all to get AP, and they'll all become overpowered. So, let's carry on going left here to get our secret treasures. They'll be worth it, guys. Don't worry. Okay, so we need to wait for it to go up, like that. There we go. And for our rewards, we will get a lucid ring for Yuna, which I'll show off to you now. So we've got an echo ring at the moment, which is silence ward, but with a lucid ring, we have silence, confuse, and poison ward as well. Yeah, we lose a bit of HP, but oh well. We get a lot more immunity, so... We get a skill sphere, which unlocks any skill on the grid, so long as it's already activated. And we get 10,000 gil. Overpowered, guys. See, it, it takes the effort to learn these dungeons, try and get as much items and as much good abilities as you can. So now we've done everything we can, so time to break out of this place. Considering the exit was there throughout the whole time, but like I said, we like to get abilities and things like that, so... Okay, so now that we're done with that battle, we'll touch the save sphere, get all our HP and MP back, and we make our way down this long, narrow corridor where we face a new enemy called Maze Lava. Now, what's interesting about these lavas is that you cannot escape from the battles because, well, technically you're in a long, narrow hallway, so there's no way to run. So, Kimari, if you can steal for me, get some nice fish skills from it. Uh, Lulu, defend, or defend. I want to, again, try and get as much, uh, everybody to get AP as possible, so. Uh, Yuna, let's try to use your new use ability. What can we use on this guy? So he's weak to electric, so if we use a, ooh, let's use electro marble. There we go, see, now, now Yuna's starting to become more, uh, more useful in battle there. Kamari with you, the kill. So yeah, we're, we're starting to make our characters a little bit out of their uh, technical job class. But, hey, if Yuna can deal damage in battle, she would be overkill. Okay, so all, all you're going to face in these corridors are maze lava, so I'll edit that last battle out. Lady Yuna, so it is you. What are you doing here, Saru? Why are you here? Yeah, what, 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 what are you locked up as well? Calmlands, then came to Bevel. Are you a traitor as well with me? Mr. Kinnock summoned us then, ordered us to deal with the traitors. Oh, this doesn't sound good. <laughs> you will fight us. The temple's orders are law. So we saved your life. Even if you are Lord Braska's flesh and blood. We saved your life in the Albed home, and now you're attacking us. His Sh guardians. I don't see them. Screw you, Asaru. Aroda and Pase are not here. Good. They can watch you I cry. I do this unhappy deed myself. Oh, it's such a hard thing, isn't it, Asaru? Forgive me, Lady Yuna. Oh, you're really gonna take us on, Asaru? Really? So, yeah, we get another Aeon battle against Asaru. So, he's obviously gonna use Fire King against us. But that's fine. We've got plenty of options here. Your aeons against mine. Right, let's do it. So he has a full overdrive already. So I want to shove summon Shiva as my first option here. Come on, Shiva, you can do it. Oh, question mark. Come on, question mark. You could take on the Fire King. 
Okay, so we have two turns here. So I want to attack with the first. Now for the second turn, I want to use Null Blaze. And with Null Blaze nullifying all fire attacks, his Hellfire is going to do absolutely nothing to me. So, yep, yeah, you waste your time there, Ifrit. You, you know, summon your fireballs from your hands and flamethrowers from your mouth and giant tornadoes of fire because it's not going to make any difference at all. All this wasted effort. See, you should have thought this through, Isaru. Ha ha! Immune! And we get a bunch of overdrive filled in as well. So, Shiva, attack! And another attack. Come on, Ifrit, what have you got? Nothing, you can't even hit me. Now, if you were clever, you could have used Null Frost, but you're not, so let's use Diamond Dust on him. For an overkill, 9,999. That's one Aeon bites the dust. I am truly the most powerful summoner in this game. Round two. Come on, Isaru, what have you got for me? Ooh, you... Oh, no, you didn't. You're going to summon your serpent with wings against me? That's a low blow, Isaru. You know that's my MVP, Aeon. It's not over yet. Oh, it certainly is not over yet. Fine, you want to use Valifor against me? I'll use Bahamut against you. You mess with the wrong summoner, Asaru. You want to go up against the King of Dragons? Well, here I am. So, Bahamut, attack my serpent with wings. He's nowhere near as good as my serpent with wings. One thing that really, um, well, I wouldn't say annoys me, but what's quite strange to me about these battles is that in the original um, Final Fantasy X games, the actual Aeons were called um, Greek sort of names. I think it was Pyterex and Grothia and Spathia, I think they were called. But in this version, it's just called Wing. I mean, come on, game. At least give them decent names. Aha, you can't touch me, Valifor. Right, so we've got an overdrive with Bahamut here. I'm not going to use it yet. I'm going to try and see if I can get Valifor sort of, at least in low HP before I use it. Just to make sure I do overkill him. Oh, he's got an overdrive. Oh, and he's quite tired, so... Okay, Bahamut. That's Mega Flare. This is the power of Bahamut, guys. Watch this damage. Bear in mind the damage we've been doing up until this point, right? Go, Barmu. Destroy him. Slash her. Because technically, Valifor is a her. Or is a she. Eleven thousand damage. It broke the 9,999 barrier there and then. Come on, Isaru. What have you got for me? I've just overkilled two of your Aeons. Oh, right, I see. I see the game you're trying to play here. So you're going to try and pick your Bahamut against me. Well, Bahamut is quite powerful, so this should be quite an interesting battle. But then, here's Asaru, so, you know. He's not a very good summoner from what we've discovered in this battle. So, let's see who I can use against Bahamut here. Let you pass. Well, then, I'll just have to force your way out. So... I'm going to use Fire King. Fire King hasn't really had a lot to do this LP. so And he lost his first day on battle against uh, Belgamini. So, come on, Fire King. You've got a lot to prove here, mate. All right, what attack is he going to use? Countdown. Okay. We'll use another attack. Come on, Barbie. What have you got? Countdown. Okay, maybe it's warming up a bit. So, hit me, Barbie. Come on. Hit me! So, yep. Pretty much, this is Bahamut for Isaru. He just does nothing but stand still and charges his overdrive. He has one attack, and that's Mega Flare. So, we can wail on him as much as we can up until he uses his overdrive. So, I'm going to see if 
Ifrit can survive a Mega Flare. I think he can. I think he can survive a Mega Flare. I hope he can anyway. Come on, Fire King. You can take a Mega Flare. I want to get my overdrive up. So we can kill him in style. Come on, Ifrit. You can take a Mega Flare from Asaru. He's nothing anyway. Oh! 16 health! Good on you, Fire King. I knew you could take a, a Mega Flare. Fire King is proving his worth now. So he's just going to do another counter on again. So let's take this opportunity to heal up. Right, I have my overdrive, so that's all I'm concerned with now. So now we just got to pretty much attack Bahamut until it shows that he's tired. He'll sort of lean on one knee, I think, when he's tired. So let's just keep on attacking him. Right, okay, so now he's leaning on one knee. I'm going to do a few more attacks because I just want to make sure I do overkill him. So now he's going to use Mega Flare, so now we don't need to uh, take the damage or use Shield. So his Mega Flare will do hardly anything to us now. Isaru, mate, this isn't a very good strategy here. You know, just charging up your overdrive constantly. I can see right through you. So, so with our shield up, let's see how much Mega Flare does now. Five hundred damage. Hardly nothing. Well, I'll show you an overdrive, Barmut. Go on, Ifrit. Come on, Fire King. Hellfire. Let's show this guy what an overdrive really is. Overkill. Die, Bahamut. Sorry, your heels are crap compared to mine. My Bahamut can destroy worlds, and yours can't even destroy my Fire King. You need a bit more lessons, mate. You need to train more. Good on you, Ifrit. Oh, and just like that, we got no music. Uh, stay away. You got your ass handed to you. Let's go. Let's leave this loser. The surface up ahead. Well, well, at least he helped us out. Even if we did just destroy all his aeons, but oh well. Your pilgrimage is over. Yep, you suck, Isaru. Just leave us to do this pilgrimage, yeah? But we get a nice AP up there for Yuna. No items, but oh well. So that's one half of the Via Perifico done. So now... Now we've got the second half of the Via Perifico with Tidus, Waka, and Riku. Which we'll start next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD. This has been Agent Number 8. Thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. And as I say, next time, we take on the second half of the trial in the Via Perifico here. With Tidus, Waka, and Riku. So hopefully, catch you in the next one. Have a good one. Laters. Hey guys, keep up to date with everything involved with the channel on Twitter at AGNumber8LP.